build and red game app with anti-gravity so this is my game app let me tap on it for you to see so it is sack escape game and as you can see it comes along with everything that makes a full complete game let me tap on the play for you to see and my game is working perfectly fine i was able to build this android game without writing even a single line of code and even without any coding experience or knowledge you can do better game even better better than this okay i'm going to show you step by step how you can do even better game just like this so as you can see from here i built it right inside anti-gravity okay without even writing a single line of code it also comes with an apk that i can install right on my android phone so let me show you how you can do the exact same thing so what you have to do is that you have to install anti-gravity right on your system if you don't have it okay get it installed and after that come and then select the model okay so from here we are going to select gemini 3 pro high okay so that is the one that we are going to use to build the android game okay so after selecting it the next thing that you have to do is that you have to install android studio okay so install android studio on your system if you don't have it i have a complete video right on my channel on how to install it so after that open it and then come here and then come and then select project okay make sure that you select project after selecting the project over here to bring it right here to welcome to android studio and come and select new project so when you tap on it you see that it will come that is new project come and select phone and tablet and after selecting it over here you see that we have so many activities right here so the activity that we are going to use is the empty views activity come and then select that one okay so the selecting the empty views activity simply come here and then come and then click on the next okay so when you click on the next over here you have to come and then create a new empty view activity for your game app okay so first you have to come and then put in the name of your game right here so the name of my game is shark escape after putting it right here just like this the package name it is going to take the name of your game just like this okay and then after that you can come here to where you have save location you can change it so mine is at the desktop i'm going to leave it like that the language i'm going to leave it like that and then the minimum sdk that is the minimum android version okay so i'm simply going to leave it at 7.0 okay and then leave everything just as it is and then simply come here and come and then click on the finish so after that it is going to build okay so as you can see importing your project for you you can come and then click on the progress bar and you will see the whole progress bar as you can see just like this so it's going to build your project for you so you can come and then click on the build and you see that it is syncing and you see the whole process okay so just give it time and you see that build successful so now that we have successfully built it you can simply come and then see it from the finish right here all that you have to do is simply come to the top okay over here you have to come and then connect your android phone to it using a cable and come and then click on the run to see that the empty views activity has successfully run so you can connect to your android phone using a cable and then allow dublin okay and then come and click on the run so as you can see it has successfully done and it will pop up from your phone just like this hello world will show right on your phone indicating that your empty views activity is working perfectly fine so you can come and then click on the stop to stop it now all that you have to do is that you have to come and then click on the menu and then from the far all these options simply come here and then come and then click on save or you have to save it so you don't lose it okay so from here as you can see it is saving it for us so now what you have to do now is simply come and then click on the close button and then simply come and then click on the exit okay so you see that the folder has been created right here you can come and then double click on it to open it and you see that you have the full android folder everything right here the next thing is to come to anti-gravity and then you have to come and then open your folder so simply come here to where you have the file come and then tap on the file and then simply come here to open folder and then come and then click on open folder so after clicking on it over here come and select where you have your folder so mine is at the desktop and come and select your folder so that is my folder after selecting it all that you have to do is simply come here and come and click on select folder so it is going to load your whole folder structure just like this that is the complete address structure inside anti-gravity good now that you have it you see that the name will change to the folder name 
And then all that you have to do is simply comment and paste in your prompt, okay? So look down in the video description. I have this complete prompt. That is what you are going to use to build your game. So the first thing is the project part, okay? This is the most important thing. You have to come and then put in your project part right here. Let me show you how to get the project part, okay? So from your folder, come and right click on it and come down here to where we have the properties okay so click on the properties and then from the properties you see we have the general and then we have the location come and then highlight the whole location and then come and then right click on the highlighted okay so when you click on it over here simply come and then click on copy and come back here to where we have paste your project part come and paste it right here just like this and then right in front of the desktop come and then paste this symbol okay so we just paste this symbol in front of it without leaving any space and then the next thing is that you have to come and then copy the file name so just highlight the file name just like this you right click on it and then come and then click on the copy and simply come here and then come and then paste it right in front of it so everything along just everything together is the project part now that you have your project part the next thing is that you have to come and then fill the start request form okay so the first thing is the game identity okay so we have the app name come and put your app name right here so after that we have the tagline it is optional you can leave it just like that but the app icon idea come and then describe exactly how you want your app icon to be and then we have the game concept come and then explain the game concept Concept, take your time and then give a detailed description about everything okay we also have the key features and then make sure that you fill the rest just like that 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 highlight the whole prompt just like this and then all that you have to do is simply right click on it and come here to the copy and copy it and then come and then paste the whole prompt right here just like this okay so after pasting the prompt come and then click on the send so after sending it gemini is simply going to receive your prompt and gemini is going to draw what we call an implementation plan okay so this is the implementation plan that is what gemini is going to base on and then develop your android game for you okay so you have to take your time and then read the implementation plan so from the top we have the implementation plan here so simply come and then read everything that is exactly what you are android game is all about okay so take time and then read it after that come and then tell gemini to go ahead and build the app for you okay so gemini is sometimes going to ask you to run a command and you have to come and then accept it by clicking on accept and that is it gemini is simply going to build the whole project for you so as you can see gemini has successfully built the whole project and given us the work through so you can find the work through right here and then simply read it to know exactly what to do next okay Okay, so that is it. It's, it's as simple just as that. Okay. Now simply come and then click on accept all to accept everything. And the next thing you have to do is to simply come and then save it. Okay. So simply come to the file and then from the options, simply come here to where we have save workspace as come and click on save workspace and come and select the where you want to save it and then over here the file name simply come and add game to it so that it will not conflict with the first one already and then leave the type as code workspace and simply come and then click on save and that is it you have successfully saved it and you can simply come and then click on the close okay so the next thing that you have to do is that go back to android studio and then you have to come and then sync your project so come to the menu and come and click on the menu and then from the files over here you see that we have sync projects with gradle files come and click on it so after clicking on it it is going to import and then it's going to sync it so you can click on the progress bar to see that it is loading and everything so when you come here to the build and then you click on the build you will see that you have the same process right here just like this all that you have to do is just give it time and it is going to build it for you so as you can see it has successfully built it and from the top here from here also you see that the sync has finished okay so from the top here you have to so so come and then connect your android phone using the cable as i as we already did and then come and then click on on the run okay so from here i've connected my android phone and i can come and click on the run and make sure that you allow dublin okay 
and then you see that it's going to build the output so it is building the output for us and then as you can see it is launching on our android phone so from the progress bar you see that it's launching just give it time for it to finish launching and it has successfully done it so it is going to display just like this and you can test your game before you build your apk so as you can see the game is working perfectly fine you can come and click on stop up and now you have to build your apk okay so from the menu come and click on the menu and from all these options simply come to the build and click on the build so among the options here simply come here to where we have generate a bundle so apk and come and click on generate apk so when you click on it it is simply going to build your apk for you which you can install so as you can see you have successfully built the apk and when you come to the output you see that we have finished okay so you can come here to the notification you click on the notification and you can simply come here and then come and click on the locate so when you click on the locate that is where you are going to find your apk so this is the apk you can simply come and then right click on it and then come and copy it and send it right onto your android phone to install it okay so the next thing is to simply come here to the notification click on it and then you have to save it so come here to the menu from the options simply come here to the save or click on it and we have successfully save it you can simply come and click on the close and then simply come and then click on the exit right so we have this fully build our apk now let's go to the file manager and then tap on it and simply come here to the all files tap on it come here to the internal storage tap on it and when i scroll down you're going to see that i have my apk right here i can tap on it and install it and simply come and then tap on just once okay to open the installer now i can simply come and then install it by simply tapping on the install and that is it it is going to install but since it is first Google Play Protect is going to try to scan it, but I'm simply going to go to more details and tap on install without scanning, and it is simply going to install for me. So it has successfully finished installing. Let's open it, and my Android game is running perfectly fine. Now I can simply come and then play it. Okay, so let's come here to where we have the play button and then come and tap on it and as you can see my shark escape game is working perfectly fine so this is how to build android game completely for free using google anti-gravity if you have any questions leave in the comment down below and then see you in my next video